Hey everyone, welcome in. Today um, is another community night, but we'll be doing things a little bit differently this time around. Um, I'm not gonna be working just on prepping um, out the tutorials for UE5. Instead, I'm gonna be working on a replicated, so multiplayer RTS project that I have on my docket of things to do. Um, we're currently working on the resource system. I already have it planned out what I'm gonna do with it. I am going to open the survival tutorial at some point because I am going to mirror in C++. Mm. Sorry about that, just lost my voice there for a second. Going to mirror in C++ what I've already done with um, the spawning system in that tutorial. So if you've not watched that already, you're going to get a uh, long version of it. I'm not going to do as much explanation. So because this is a community night and I'm not doing much explanation, if you have any questions, anything you want to talk about, feel free to post it up in the chat. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that I need to say about today's stream outside of my usual ending for the introduction. And no, it isn't. Sorry for the long blink. My contact was burning in my right eye and I was trying to get it back into place as well. Um... So if you ever see me do a long blink like that, that's why. What I'm doing is, well, usually. Unless I'm being really sarcastic about something. What I'm trying to do is get a contact back in place without actually touching my eye on stream. Because I'm sure none of you would like that. For example, what I just did there. Um, so, yeah, no. Clearly I have nothing else I usually say the uh, intro or need to say for the rest of today's live stream. Um, again, it's a live stream for those watching on VODs because I have had people come out about the editing work on my, you know, live streams. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already and you want to help support the channel, all you have to do is hit that like button down below. It really does help this channel out. And if you've not already, make sure to hit the subscribe and notify icon so you know when tutorials like the one I just mentioned are out and when the new RTS series is officially released it is already available on Patreon. That said if you want to help support this channel further consider becoming a Patreon sponsor. Patreon sponsors at upper tiers get instant access to all ongoing and completed projects here on YouTube and for those um, other tiers you still get access to the projects but only once they are completed. Sorry I forgot what I was going to say there and I was like Wait, what did I say? I had to pre-play the thing in my head, so I went, and, and, and what? What else is there? Um, in addition, you get to vote on content, for example, and that's across all tiers. Currently, there is a vote on if a particular C++ tutorial I want to do is something worth doing. Or if people would like to see other uh, topics. Um, sorry, again, I forgot what I was going to say. It's, I can't believe another COVID this time. I can only blame it on myself. Um, yeah, so that said, uh, let's hop into it and I'll see you in a moment. I was hopeful to get rid of the pop up in a second because I just want Epic open on the side here. So, we are currently working on our resource system. Welcome to a very long uh, enum and three different attempts to do the same thing. So I just kind of need to make a decision uh, on what I'm going to do with this. Also, I want to think about this for a moment because I kind of had a moment where I went, you know, I don't think I'm right at all. And actually, I think the longer version, the if statement version. So really quickly, just because I am talking about this, these three things do the same thing. We're adding an amount into our resource and we want to check is the amount we're adding above what we can hold. Now, what I don't do, and what I need to do is actually return, if it is over, how much over it is. And so, what I'm thinking about as I look at this is, hey Sam, how are you doing today, man? Welcome on in. Um, so what I'm thinking about while I'm looking at these three options is, well, one, I need to clamp it. And I have shown three different ways to do it. I can use an if statement. I can use the u the clamp that comes with the fmath library. Sorry, I'm trying not to cough. Or I can use a tri trinary operator right here that says if this is true, which is the same if true up here, then we set it to the max resource that we can hold there. If it is not, 
then we take the current value and add the amount in and pass that back out. Hey, hey there, Kiwi Kingdom. Welcome in. And Sam, I am doing well today. How are you? And Kiwi, how are you doing today? I feel like she's saying Kiwi Kingdom every time because saying just Kiwi sounds really bad. Sorry about that. I'm good. Thanks a lot for asking. Glad to hear that you're doing good today. Sorry we haven't had a chance to talk about the uh, horror thing that we were looking at. I've just been swamped with stuff, so it's uh, it's on my radar still. I haven't forgotten. Still there. Don't worry. Um, now, if we were just clamping this, then, you know, there are some issues with the um, clamp here where we have two if checks within there. This is doing half the work. Except for in terms of readability, this is less easy to read than just seeing the clamp. Hey, hey, Adrian, how are you doing? But because I'm going to return something, and I don't need to worry about that minimum, so that second if check, then, oh yeah, uh, Adrian, I, if I didn't say it, how are you doing? I know I said hi, but I'm not sure I asked how you are. Sorry about that. And if I did, I literally forgot everything I've just said. That is the third time already in eight minutes. This is shaping to be up to be an interesting stream for my, um, not exactly functioning, short-term memory. That was clearly not how I wanted to say that sentence originally. I, yeah. Uh, thanks for your understanding, Sam, with regards to that project we're talking about. Also, what is in my, oh, my cigarettes are in my pocket. Don't smoke. Smoking is bad. I'm horrible at quitting. So, what I also want to consider is do I want to pass out a Boolean sort of flag with this? Now, using Boolean flags, actually, I'd be, I'd be using it instantly on a branch right after. I'm going to make the bool the primary, and because um, of the way that by reference works in C++ for Unreal, I'm going to have a multiple return node. I did ask twice, didn't I? I like, I like how uh, like I'm sitting here thinking about it as I'm speaking to Adrian. Like it's in the back of my mind. Like I'm pretty sure I did, and now I just sound like I've completely lost the plot. So I think I am going to use this branch version, and we will have the return in there. So let's just go back over here and change our signature type to bool. And then we can change it right away in the C++ version because I have it open here. All right. Now, before anyone says, yes, I know, I actually don't need to have these. They are auto-generated by our generated body. I like having them to make sure I've actually implemented them because with the IntelliSense on, I'm getting this on the one that is the base one, the one we call, and I'm not getting it on the one I've actually written the code for, the one that we, well, implement. So I like having these here just as my reminder. Have I done this? Because there is a chance I'll forget. And given that I've forgotten things so many times already in this stream, and we're not even like a ten, 10 full minutes into it. I think as I said that, we hit 10 full minutes. Uh, yeah. Reminders are my friend. Uh, I'm very good, thanks. Alright, fair enough. I will just use Kiwi then. Which now, because I have the Skippy uh, quote thing on the Discord channel, just made me think of um, a line from the book where Kiwi was used as an insult to a pilot, like as a call sign, because it's a flightless bird. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know why I'm uh, being weird like that today. So what we'll do here is we are going to return false. Oh, no, sorry, we're going to return true. Here we'll return false. Please tell me I updated the right one. I updated the wrong one. All right, might have been helpful had I realized that I uh, am updating an older bit of code. This should be the bool. And yes, I know I can use the rename feature. I just tend to find it has issues with the special ones like that. When I say special ones, I mean the ones where you have to have two declarations for it to work correctly. And after having that, have to go through it 
over and over again to find all the mistakes it made once, I'm a bit paranoid to use it. Now, I know it's probably an end user error that caused it, but still. All right, um... The other thing I want to do... Okay, so I I want to double check something just because I'm now having a brain fart uh, Something I even commented on there are two ways to do pass by reference and unreal one Achieves what the typical C++ C++ path pass by reference. I swear I can speak um, See that blink there that long blink there that wasn't me putting the contact back in that was just me kind of rolling my eyes at myself and mocking myself um, anyway um, I want to check, so one does it the way that normal C++ does it, the other one is like, you know how you have multiple returns on some nodes in Blueprint? Well, not possible in C++, we only have one return type signature, unless we overload. But, if you do it pass by reference, well, isn't that the same thing? And that, that's kind of how Unreal handles it. But I just can't remember. One is going to be a use uh, a certain specifier we use, and one is going to be the traditional one. I think the traditional one is the UE4 special approach, but I'm going to double check. So I'm just doing multiple returns UE4 C++, which a surprising number of people Google. So I did multiple returns. It kind of just filled in the rest of it. I still like typing it in. I'm weird. I know. Uh, by the way, while I'm doing this, you know what? I'm just gonna bring... Actually, wait. I, I already found the answer. Uh, yeah, so I was right. When you do the, um... Uh, just the standard ampersand for pass by reference. That's the return node type in Unreal. What I would actually like to have as well is the uh, non, one, the other one I got, the, the proper one. How to pass by reference in UE4 C++. So if you come from a C++ background into UE4, just be prepared that they wrote this engine before uh, modern C++, so a lot of the things we have in modern C++, they wrote a version for. And so we're just staring at a lot of, um, uh, we're having to relearn a lot of um, things we already knew how to do because they're done in different ways. Okay, I don't need this documentation. This is not what I'm looking for. That's Blueprint, not C++. You know what? I don't need it for a bit. I will a little bit later tonight, but I don't need it now. So I will be doing it without that. Um... Sorry, I just got pinged on Discord on my server and just wanted to see what was being said. Nothing that I need to respond to right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is we will pass um, a float. Do, 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 called remainder. Sorry, I had to think about I was gonna name it. Probably should copy that comma too. A little bit late now in the game, but hey, here we are. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to set remainder here to be equal to new amount local minus, uh, the max value that the thing can hold.
Set resource amount. Set resource amount. Oh. Yeah. I can't do this. And you want to know, why is my chair broken? Like, my chair keeps sliding down, by the way. So, I can't do this because this is replicated. Uh, shoot. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do. We're just going to make a variable for it. And this one will be private. We don't need access to it anywhere else. And it will be a tape float. And it will be called the remainder. And we can get rid of this now. A mount. We need a mount still. I swear to God. Thank you. Right, that fixes that up. And let's go into here. Get rid of that. And uh, we'll actually default this up to zero. All right. God. Part of my mustache really itches. We're replicating this, so we need to do a do rep lifetime. It'll be you, resource manager base, and it'll be our remainder. There we go. And remainder down here now should be set. What we're going to do is actually also clear out remainder. All right. Every time we do this, we want to make sure that we're not changing something that we've already set. All right, I am actually just gonna save these as references for myself in case I decide to use one of these alternative approaches. This return will error out. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna put a break here just in case. I'm being weird, I realize, but yeah, we're gonna do it that way. And uh, we're gonna get rid of that. And uh, that one as well. And we'll get rid of all of them, don't worry. So, we're gonna come here down to pull and we're just gonna copy and paste this so how is everyone doing i've already asked that like i need uh so what projects are people working on like what are you guys doing right now in unreal or in c plus plus so i know a few people in our community are currently working on you know hand built calculators which i now really want to do um you know i, I could just claim that he's me we have the same name that's it when it says zach it's me Okay, uh, and then get rid of that space there. I think it <laughs> might be helpful if I remembered what I had done. Also, that I didn't copy and paste the last time I was doing this. I just went like that, because... But that does give me a reminder that I need to check something. Let me just go back up here, and... Um... Grab clay. Make sure it's not showing up anywhere else. It isn't good. All right. We can replace this one. Probably should have grabbed that return statement too, I guess. And it's an iron. This must be so much fun to watch. Imagine doing a tutorial. Okay, so you know like during the tutorials when I'm doing stuff like this, I honestly find it a lot easier for some reason when I'm doing a stream to know what to say, like how to ramble at things, or I just say, all right, you're not going to watch me do this, and I pause the recording at that point. Uh, I'm working on a wave-based survival uh, blockchain game. I feel like... I might actually have talked to you on Twitter recently. Um, and if you are who I think you are, how are you doing? I've already asked that. Wow. <laughs> I have like one go-to line apparently today. I'm... My brain doesn't seem to be working. And I don't know why. And I can't blame the COVIDs. <laughs> I am sad. 
on many levels. Yes, I just insulted myself, I realize. Also, I forgot what no, the pace button was like. Is it control B? No, that's bold. I wonder what would happen if I did control B in this. Alright. Again, seriously, imagine like having to record doing this. I mean, live streaming, you know there's gonna be moments of silence where I'm just staring at stuff because hey, we do coding here and that happens. Um but imagine just having to record doing this. Like, I, I know I do recordings, I'm not complaining. What I'm saying is I would not, like, if you think about my the issues I've been raising about the Saturday uh, things, like the little things I don't like, I think what he's doing is, you know, well, one, record, voiceover, which I'm gonna start doing probably at some point, and two, that um, he's trying to edit out these, these really dull parts like this. But all I can think is there's not really, in some of the, the, the spots he does it, you can do it elsewhere, but man, trying to fill the air while doing this, this is harder on live stream. And I don't even pause typically during my recordings for the tutorial. The longest pause is you get something like that where I'm taking a sip of something. Cause I'm constantly talking uh, during those things. Um, so, uh, if I mispronounce this, I am so, so sorry. Uh, Romfia, uh, taking a course in UE5 C++, which sadly VS Code in UE5 Live Compiler is giving issues. Yeah, I've heard that VS Code does not work well um, anymore with Unreal. Um, I don't use VS Code just because I, I, for other things I do, I do need the full IDE package. Um, I'm not sure if they're working on anything for that or not. I haven't seen. Also, I've been trying to work on a multiplayer RTS and also a multiplayer action RPG. I've done both of those, oddly enough. Currently doing one on, on camera, um, a resource system, which is, as I'm doing it, and I'm actually, iter this is an iteration, by the way. Um, like, I literally wrote the code and wrote the next uh, bit of code went, oh, crap. I need this bit of code in the last bit, which is why we do the current first. And now we're updating the, um, and then we did the max, and now we're updating the current again. Cause yeah, iteration. So what is your RTS setting, and um, and what is your uh, action RPG story? Also, Adrian, that's why it's familiar. Sorry about that, dude. I am so used to seeing Nemian games that I didn't recognize your last name. I am sorry about that. That tells you also how awake I am today. Or something. Because, again, me brain not braining properly brain. God, I have the scene in the um, that Futurama episode in my head now. Where the brains take over Earth and only Fry can save them. You find out that Nibbler's there. Oh, spoiler alerts for a show that's been out for a while. Um, and he goes, because Fry's writing is so bad. The brain goes, and I'm going to leave for no reason. I don't know why that still tickles me to this day. Mostly because when I misspell reason, it is because I put in reason instead. Oh, and I hate raisins. I would leave if there were raisins. Give me actual grapes. Funny part is, as I've gotten older, I'm actually more tolerant of eating raisins than I was earlier. Like, I could never eat them as a kid, but as an adult, I'm like, you know, they're not the best. But I don't despise them as much as I used to. I wish I did. Still prefer grapes. Especially if they're um, in a fruit salad of some sort. And that fruit salad is only grapes and it's fermented. Actually, it doesn't even need to be grapes. You can do it with potatoes or beets. I can't remember what flower gin's made of. So, yeah, I'm just, because I saw the other error, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that one should be cool. Alright, what are you, your wool. Okay. Nice. Uh, this is the boring part of doing this all in C++. You know, smart me would just be copying and pasting this into Word. <laughs> Having it replace the characters uh, for that one section and then pasting it back in. I wouldn't even copy and paste, I'd just leave one copy of it. 
but I'd probably overcomplicate it by then coming into the studio, copying the word I want, just to make sure the spelling is right. And just going, well, at this point, I figure I should just be doing what I'm currently doing now. Really? I missed two in claw. Okay, I see the one at the top of War Powder there. And for anyone wondering, these are actually uh, listed by the level of production, then Over Powder? Mmm. Kind of reminds me of Ovaltine and then the Christmas story. Um, and then alphabetically. Uh, the RTS is covering a time period from Bronze Age to the Renaissance, covering different cultures and their leaders. Been reading historical sources to come up with an idea for the campaign storyline. You're going for a more proper RTS all the way through, say like Stellaris, Hearts of Iron, or are you going more for the combination turn-based and RTS, uh, like um, the Total War series where between uh, battles, it's turn-based. That took me way too long to figure, the figure out the words I wanted to use for those sentences, or sentence, however many it was. Kind of reminds me of a scene in a TV show I really liked. And they clearly had to rush the ending. The last season, they knew they were canceled, so they rushing to tell a story, and whew, uh, that actually really shot them in the foot. But it's a newsroom, and the opening scene is this girl, who at the start is known as Sorority Girl, and then becomes a character on the show at the end of season one, and I can't remember her name. I think it's Amber, but I could be wrong. Um, her first line, which you find out she was actually coached to say, is her or her character's coach to say, um, asking a question of three report reporters. And she starts her question with, can you in one sentence or less? Pauses, blushes, realizes her mistake, and corrects herself by going, you know what I mean. For those of you who didn't catch that one sentence or less, can you explain to me in zero sentences? I say that. I know people who write like that. Like, literally don't know what a sentence is. And you're like... You put words in, in this thing. There are words, yes. But these words do not go together to form a full idea. What is the subject of this sentence? This isn't even passive voice, so I can't infer one. What subject be there? Or, where verb? Where verb? Okay, and anyone who didn't get that joke, where verb is also missing the verb, clearly. Sorry, I feel like I'm being a dick by intentionally explaining my jokes in a very patronizing way. I am sorry. Um, more like Empire Earth and Battle for Middle Earth. I haven't played those games. I haven't played... I played both of them. I actually just realized I did. I don't think I played Battle of Middle Earth in like ages. I mean, I've definitely not played Empire Earth in ages, but... I know I played uh, Battle for Middle Earth more recently, and I don't think I've... I... Yeah, I don't remember it too well. I remember the screenshots of it. That's the funny part. Then again, my short-term memory is clearly not memorying. The RAM is not working. Hard drive functioning, CPU functioning, RAM missing. I have too many Chrome tabs open in my brain box thingy. Uh, but, 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 but. <laughs> laughing my ass off. Uh, but to make larger amounts of troops, so battlefield, like Battlefield Total War. So, uh, just to be aware, if you're doing this in Unreal, you are going to run into issues due to how, uh, the draw calls work with skeletal meshes. There are multiple solutions, right? Your own renderer. Or as I call it, the I hate myself solution, and I have six months to dedicate to writing a module for the engine. And to be clear, in some cases, it actually makes sense to do. That should be bio, not row. The other choice, limit the number of units, but you said you don't want to do that, so not an option. Vertex uh, animations, which is actually what I'll be doing for this, where you combine both individual units and vertex. Um, some really expensive plugins that I'm not willing to try out because of how I've seen them advertised makes me feel very scammy. I'm sorry, there are very few marketplace advertisements on YouTube that don't feel scammy. And I'm just not gonna risk it when the price tag is that high.
Like, no. As an indie coder, no. I'm an idiot. And I just remembered to do this at least before I continued. Yes, please crack open me skull pate. If you didn't get that joke, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna explain that one. Please crack open me skull pate and uh, put more C, no, RAM in. Me need RAM. At least DDR4. Preferably the new DDR5. Preferably at least 120. Brosbo. Bros. This stream has been brought to you by Bros Bros. The brossiest bro. When <laughs> I started typing in Bros again instead of Cross, and the best part was, I wasn't even covering the word. Woo! It's gonna be a long day, ladies and gents. It's gonna be a long day. I knew I missed one. I was like, I know there's two somewhere near here. Uh, by the way, if you think I've missed one as I'm doing it, like when you see me moving on to the next one, feel free to call it out. I like javelins because I know it's just the J. In fact, I don't even need to do the uh, caps. I can just type in J. And the action RPG, sorry, let me just, apparently it does have to be SP for this one. That makes me sad. I need a third arm. No, what? No, bad, bad, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I need a third arm because I have one hand on the mouse to move from word to word really quickly and then one doing the letters and then hitting tab. SMP are on the other side of the keyboard. I'm stretching my fingers to do it and then have to bring it back to hit tab. Uh, and the action RPG is based on a on the fantasy novel I'm writing, set at a major a major battle that takes place, uh, four player game. Okay. So are you going to use a listen server or a dedicated server for that? Also, I had it after SW. Why am I still typing in? There we go. See this one I like. It's look really. See, I caught it before I moved on, at least. You don't need to call me out. However, I missed two in this one. See, that one you should call me out on. What kind of audience are you? Joking, clearly, by the way. I'm not that toxic. Um, Just double checking for anything else. It looks weird. That's right. Oh, that... I made me panic how long that took. And I'm looking right at one of the ones that highlighted it. I'm like, oh wait, no, I know it's going to. Why is it not working? Uh, Kiwi, I can't tell if you're saying that after I said that out loud or if you're saying that as a joke after my comment. Either way, I love the timing of that. So if it was accidental, it's still brilliant. Oh... I feel like I didn't actually look at the saddle or the one before saddle would blink. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh if... Uh, I, small pleasures. Small... Okay, I know after tar is fine because that's when I did my last check. It was tar. Uh, and I'm just gonna double check now. Spear. Did I miss any other in spear? Yeah, okay. I did not. Uh, so far from what I learned, it seems like a listen server might be best. Still learning about multiplayer and in general. So just remember, dedicated server means you have to have a, you, the developer of the game, or somebody has to have a server. Actually, it doesn't have to be the developer of the game. You know, there are dedicated server games where you as the, um, player, to think of that word for a second, has to uh, have their own dedicated server. I think the scientist perfectly only realized it when you started the sword section, huh? Okay, so yeah, you said it right when I got to it uh, in the actual thing. So you did call me out. The lag is much worse than I thought, or not lag, the delay between my side and your side is much worse than I thought it was. I thought it was like 15 seconds. Either that or doing this is making, it feels like, yeah, it feels longer than it's taking me. So maybe like this stuff is only like taking a couple of seconds. I don't know why I type in code, I was about to type in code, code shield. Uh, but to me, this drags on for ages. 
because I know how long this list is. You know, at this point, I should have just written a code snippet that does this for me. Oh, that, that would have been the smart choice. And you could just change the name. Ooh, we're in the food section, though. We're nearly done. Jeez. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, if you haven't checked it out yet, my friend Bry, um, and he was actually... Uh, like advertised on uh, the Epic's um, Epic Launcher on the Learning tab. Sorry, I was trying to see if Epic Launcher is on, open on that site to remember the name of the tab. It isn't. Um, he was advertised there for his four-part series on um, replication. It's well worth a watch if you haven't seen it. Uh, his name is Bry B I. Sorry, B Y. Sorry, no. Bravo Romeo Yankee. I don't know why it was easier for me to do that. I'm literally typing it in for some reason. To do that in the phonetic alphabet than it was for me to do it using, you know, regular English. This is so exciting to watch, isn't it? The most riveting coding you've seen. You know, when I did my uh, hour-long, um, fruits plural, when I did my hour-long uh, C++ thing ages ago, I didn't realize there's actually a challenge on YouTube to do it under an hour. I was wondering why that video was oddly popular to this day. And then I got uh, an alert for um, a under the hour uh, challenge uh, hangman, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yes, I also see the two I missed, by the way. Uh, there is a replace function, but I don't want to replace it in every bit. I only want to replace it in cha fruit smell. I only want to replace it in the spots where um, I am not uh, needing it because we're switching between the types. I'm sure there's a shorter way to have written all of this that I just completely blinked on, but so be it. Beer is the second to last one. Yep, I saw it. No, not saddles. <laughs> oh. I mean, saddles and sausages go well together, you know? Well, not well together, potentially. <laughs> that is definitely not actually what I meant. Oh my god. <laughs> I was making that joke, yes, but that is not how I meant to make that joke. Peace, I'm out. You're just gonna stare at me staring at you now. Yeah, we're doing this. I can't read the chat. I just saw a message pop up. I have probably blinked, but I don't care at this point. Also, doing this with a camera is much harder than it is doing with an actual person. I guess I'm still streaming, so I'm still actually talking. Um... Beer and sausages, I already like this game. Well, Noxy, it is a German video game. That wasn't a joke, by the way. Also, really quickly, because I can do it this way too now. That wasn't a joke, by the way. This is a German video game. Actually, wait. Did I see Chainmail lit up earlier? Like, actually, the Chainmail one. Something to scroll to.
Sorry if we're going silent. I'm just now noticing there's some other ones I missed. Fish. Anybody else? The one I'm currently working on. Fish. Oh, I guess there was one between beer and bread. Flour. I forgot about flour. Probably would be helpful. I finished out beer, I guess. Beer. Beer. Flour. Flour. Sorry. I mean, honestly, if I were actually recording this, I'd probably be making those jokes and just editing them out or silencing that part or voicing over and again. Okay, and uh, bread. The final one. Bread, the final frontier. Anyone watching the new Star Trek, by the way? Uh, Strange New Worlds? And if so, what do they think of it? I, personally, myself, have enjoyed it so far. But I would like to hear other people's opinions on it. I also... Hey, hey there, Sergey. Welcome back in. How are you doing today, my mate? My mate. That sounds so weird. Sorry about that. Uh, and, um... That's definitely just going to return false at the end of that bit. Sorry, I was just checking what these were in. So, this is going to return false. And this is going to return false. I mean, we really don't need those breaks. I just have them in as safeties. Because better safe than sorry? Question mark? Exclamation mark? Some punctuation sign? Um... I'm not sure what's going on today with me. I honestly am not. I might be really sleep deprived, to be fair. Like, really sleep deprived. So, hey, this is, um, what, two neurons? I had to think about. So, if you haven't seen it yet, on the Humor and Memes channel of the Discord server, and if you're not part of our community yet, make sure to click the link in the description. There is a link there. Now, again, for those coming in, I am doing something different. I'm not doing tutorial prep. I am doing work I have for um a project um a project an replicated rts i was being descriptive there why the, with the word project wasn't i um but if you haven't been to the humor and meme section of the server there is a video where i'm doing the intro to a thing and i go hi my name is uh, actually wait no it's hi everybody oh I forgot mine. And then the video cuts out. Like, you can actually hear me swearing because I forgot my name for a second. And the reason why that happened was I think I had, a, I think that was one of the scripted ones. I don't mean like a scripted blooper. I, it's where I scripted the introduction. Because I normally don't do scripts in my live streams. Or not my live streams. Clearly, I am not on a script right now. Um, I don't do scripts usually during my uh, tutorials. They are just me teaching it as I would teach it without a script. Um, I do know some of my fellow colleagues do use, like, actual scripts, like they're giving speeches when they lecture. I don't. But I've been experimenting with them because I do that for the Udemy course that I'm working on. Keep plugging that, like, every chance I get. I'm not actually trying to plug it. And um, I'm, so used, I'm so used to seeing my name on the thing, I just didn't type it in that time. <laughs> it's like the teleprompter joke in uh, all those shows where they actually put someone else's name in. Or they type something random and they read it without thinking. Literally what I did. I was like, I just started laughing after I killed the recording. Funny part was, I know there's at least one or two times before that where I legitimately forgot what the intro was when it was my name. I was like, hello everybody, or hey everybody. What do I say here? Oh, that was, um... Like, yeah. Um, oh, I had somebody... Sorry, I'm going to have a cigarette in a second. Wow, you just saw me lean over to push the window open. I'm also going to move the bottle of water. God, I've been looking for this bottle of water. I don't want the Dr. Pepper. I want a water. So, um... Sorry, I can see myself now that I'm looking over at the chat. And all I can see is like a bit of my beard that is not properly cut. And it's driving me up the wall now. Um, I'm sure no one else is noticing that, but it's bugging me. So I'm just going to hide it with my hand now and draw your attention to it. 
Um, all right, I definitely need the cigarette to function brain juice properly. So I'm still gonna be here. I'm just gonna move the microphone that away. And I'm gonna move my uh, lethargic self into the windowsill. And I'm going to um, partake of nicotine. But I'll still be here. I'll still be able to see the chat because the screen is facing that window, unlike this screen. And uh, respond to stuff. Or just ramble at you randomly because, you know, that is also fun to do. Oh, come on, microphone. Don't. All right. I should have muted the mic when I did it that time. So, yeah. Um... But now you know what? That I forgot my name a couple of times. <laughs> like three times. I mean, I've done it on the Udemy course where I accidentally forgot to write the uh, my name there as well. And I'm like, just looking for the word. And because it's not there, I was like, wait. Oh, yeah, no, it's my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these things happen. Other lighter. All right, so now that we have that set up, what do I need to do next for the manager? Well, the function I just wrote will need to do something later on. It needs to do something later on, but we haven't gotten to that stage. Okay, that's fine. Um, what did I say? Oh, because I'm swearing. Is that the 18 plus part? Um... I need to write a compare function. All right, so that's gonna return a bool type. It doesn't need to run on the server, it can run locally. Not only can it run locally, what we can do with it is we can, um, I'll tell you, I don't mean to say not only. So we're going to return if the amount is equal to or greater than. Okay, so we'll have a target vary amount. We'll have a target. We'll have an e resource size, e resources, sorry. Uh, it's the name of the enum uh, value. And we'll have a target amount. Okay, that's fairly simple. We'll then pop over to the player character and implement that on the construction system. Then we'll go over to the blueprint side of things where I have the debug uh, code active, add another debug line in and test it out. I'm just thinking about how that's going to look in the architecture of the code I'm writing. Also, yes, the resource manager is going to need to tick. Sorry, again, talking to myself, uh, just working things out. Because we'll use it to control... No! No, we won't. We'll have that in our unit manager. This actually might not need to tick, and we will turn the tick off on this, actually. Because it's doing, it doesn't need any, yeah, it doesn't make any calculations that would require a tick. So, yeah, no, we won't do a tick, yeah. All right, we have a destroy preview function already written in the, in the building set, uh, system we have. So all we need to do then is call that if the comparison returns a false and not do the rest of the spawn in event that we've written. Also, the break will be a bit longer because after I finish the cigarette, I am going to go to the bathroom. I, yeah, I need to go. 
but we still have at least a minute and a half of cigarette left. Actually, we probably have like 45 seconds of cigarette left. Uh, the saltpeter, and a saltpeter? Whatever they, I'm gonna say white phosphorus. That's definitely not what I'm looking for. I think it's saltpeter they put on the papers. It makes it burn faster if it's not a rolly. Because they value their customer's health. Hey Adrian, welcome in. Uh, hello, I love your channel. I learned everything I know about Unreal watching your tutorials. Keep up the good work. Thank you much, and hopefully you're watching some of the newer stuff as well. And I say that because my earlier stuff, while I have a C++ background, I was not aware of some of the differences between C++ and Blueprint, and only found them out while working on the series. Um, and yeah, that was one of the reasons when I lost the backup file, oh, lost the files, lost the drive, in the backups, everything got corrupted. I went, I'm not gonna redo, I'm not gonna continue this. I'm just gonna create a new series. I'm gonna do the remaster now. Um, and several months later, I actually recorded the first section of it, which again is available on Patreon for those that want to um, help support the channel. Sorry, I was taking an inhale of that cigarette. Um, Okay, maybe it was 90 seconds. I was right the first time. I finished that cigarette. I'm going to mute the mic and I'm going to head off to the bathroom. I'll be back in less than a minute's time because, hey, my office has a bathroom. Sorry, I knew I was muted, so yeah. Um, I'm random sometimes, as people might have learned. Like the meat cube. Hi, I'm a meat cube. Hi, I'm a meat cube. Yeah, my, um, Noxie, I saw your post, by the way, and I love it. Um, if everyone doesn't get what I mean, the post in humor, no, and you put it in the survival channel where you did RIP meat cube. I think my Twitter profile still says I'm an evolved meat cube. I am not going to let that joke die. Uh, Sergey, I don't remember why you use many, many construct if else. In, wait, why many, many construct if else in one branch instead of uh, declare one variable? You know, that is one way of doing it. And I just did the returns because I didn't want to have to go through and check. Because it, the main reason why is it goes through, it's going to see, okay, I have this. Do I need to do this? No, there's a break. Do I need to do this? No, there's a break. Do I need to do this? No, there's a break. Do I need to do this? No, there's a break. Um, wait, what did you clip, Adrian? Nemi and Adrian, not the other Adrian. <laughs> there's two Adrians. Um, or the clip, I'm the meat cube part. Um, or I'm guessing that's what you meant, sorry. But yeah, that's the main reason, Sergey. I'm doing it that way. It's just so I don't have to hit all these breaks. I only have them in as checks anyway. The other reason, and yes, I know convention says you shouldn't do multiple returns, so it's hard to read. Well, with my code, we're literally just doing one thing. We're returning a particular value. All right, so I wanted to write a comparison. 
sorry, it just took me a minute to think about it. The meat cube. I mean, dude, you have like an entire video of me saying that as the outro. Um, oh yeah, I probably should set the comment for this. Sets value resource max storage to uh, crap. max. Okay. Uh, t uh, max to max plus amount. And this one returns the current value max. All right, and then we're going to compare value resource to amount and return true if equal to or greater than amount. So I'm putting some of the uh, things in the uh, carrots, pointed brackets, because those are the values I'm going to be passing in as arguments. And this will be a U function. It will be blue. You know what? There we go. I hate you, IntelliSense. I hate you so much. And this will be um, bool compare resource. And we'll need an e resources or e sources apparently. E resources value. Um, float amount, and that's why I just swore like that. These all should be floats. You know what? Actually, before I continue doing that, I'm just gonna collapse it down. Actually, I'm gonna finish it because we're already here. I can just control Z everything. Uh, is we are going to go to our resource structure and then we're going to go to our common structures. Uh, bu 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 bum. Common I thought I deleted you. Okay, and um, they are floats. It is a switch, but there are if statements in the switch. And yes, it does have a default, which passes out nothing. Some of the flaws are left in intentionally. Sorry, I'm responding to uh, what Adrian said. I watched most of your videos about blueprint tutorials. They're great despite the little flaws. Um, I am not proud of the RTS one. That's why I'm remastering it and doing it in Unreal 5. Selling point. I still need to finish editing that video. I said it'd be out on Friday, and today's Friday, and I haven't done that. Um. What? Oh. <laughs> colons are, or semicolons are important. Remember, your semicolon. It saves lives. Okay. Uh, did I forget anything else? No, you're just being slow to update. We're gonna hit build anyway. Which is gonna be slightly problematic because that's the game. You know what, we're just gonna do that. We'll be turning in then. All right, man, sleep well. I hope you have a, yeah, a good sleep. Um. Oh, they don't have return values. I knew that. So what we'll do instead is has uh, has remainder comma float remainder. Am I doing it on the wrong side? I'm just doing it on the wrong side.
There we go. I knew you can have something with that. And uh, which one was that in? That was in set resource amount. So set resource amount. Let's just get rid of this for a moment. Drop that out. I didn't mean hit build, but hey. Yeah, I know. There's a whole bunch of errors because of what I just did. Can that go away, please? Die. <laughs> Nope, we can't do it that way. Because it can't be counts. We're going to be setting it. Yep, I know. That doesn't exist. I'm just going to cheat. Sorry, I'm not talking because I got annoyed. <laughs> I just got really, really annoyed. I was like, yeah, uh, I'm honestly going to cheat with this. Just give me a text file. Thank you. All right, so really quickly just work out what I want to do with it. I'll just go back here for a second. Uh, I usually do uh, blue. Uh, no, I haven't done any blueprint yet. But usually C plus um, plus. I will be doing blueprint ones. Actually, C plus 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 blueprints or and blueprints to make that a little bit less of a confusing sentence. So I do do a mix of the two. Um, but it has been primarily focused on C plus plus recently. Recently, since I've restarted doing live streams. So what I want to do is. Okay, so uh, apparently the hotkey for find and replace does not work. Yeah, hit control H. All right, so we're gonna do return, return true is now gonna be true. Okay. Uh, I wish I hadn't opened this. <laughs> I can't remember how to get rid of these extra ones. Please go away. Oh, there's the X. Okay, and then we'll do false is equal useful. False. Uh, you said you got all of them. There's a return true right there.
that's cool. I don't use C++. I'll uh, watch for now just to see if it links. Okay, just to be fair, did I hit Control Z at the wrong spot? I wonder if that's what just happened there. Um, all the all the hard parts of C++ you have in Blueprint. It's the logic. That's the hard part. All right, get rid of that thing now. Okay. I have no idea what I actually just copied. If I copied... Okay. You know what? We'll find out the fun way. We'll find out the very fun way in a second. One semicolon. It's there. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's build it now, see if that works. I swear if I get an error, I'm gonna cry. I won't, but... Not yet, at least. Okay. Ah, creating library. Ba -ba -bum. Creating library. Ba -ba 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 -bum. You resource manager, compare resources. Reference function, public, static, not declared. Okay, or not defined. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yes, I'm making random noises at you. Like a little child trying to uh, not throw a tantrum over there. I did not mean to hit that button. I mean, hey, we're gonna find out if it works. It works. <laughs> I just didn't mean to hit that button. Oh my god. Seriously, this contact is driving me crazy. Okay. I just lost the chat because apparently clicking that part of the window also clicks the other part of this window that's over there. Okay. Don't know how to explain that one. All right, let's just go ahead and do this thing. All right. Oh, so I don't need to highlight the entire line to do this. Actually, sometimes, for some reason, when I'm working in UE4, I have to. And I do not know for the life of me why that is, chat. I just don't. Oh, I probably should have checked where that actually placed it. Magic. Also, uh, you know what? Since this is such a massive function. Okay, there we go. Um... Oh, I hate myself right now. You know what? I'm gonna do what I said earlier. First, let's just put the switch in. Uh, and we're switching on value. Thank you. And um, if Your resources dot play dot current value is greater to or equal to amount return true else EC else return false. Okay. Cool. <sighs> I'm not doing it the way I said I was going to. I'm just going to do it the old way. I only have to do it.
All right. I'm off on back to doing it the old way. Ah, uh, the tedium part of coding. The enjoyable part. <laughs> I don't know why I said that horrible lie. Forgive me. You know what? I'm really, really tempted to write a code snippet, but it's honestly at this point, it's probably too late. It'd probably take me the same amount of time. Cla cloppy, Cla cloppy. I now demand that be an NPC in somebody's game, Cla cloppy. I also want credit for that NPC. I have demands. They must be adhered to. And yes, that was sarcasm. For those of you playing the at home game, that is what two neurons, or Zach, or whatever my name is, sounds like when he is being sarcastic. I'm honestly getting sick of reading this list of resources. Now you know why there's so few resources in the RTS tutorial, by the way. I mean, just imagine doing this in Blueprint. Uh, if you aren't getting what this would look like in Blueprint, one long node, and then a lot of spaghetti, and one return. I actually would be doing one return there, to be fair. Sorry, I was about to do this, and I was like, did I also not do the last one? <laughs> We're about to skip past it. And then I realized I hadn't done it, and I was like, did I not do the one before it as well? I had. Alright, here we go. Sorry, just give me one second. Okay. Uh, I've now lost the chat for some reason. Oh, so I felt cheese wrong. Cla fruity. Even though I didn't put the T in because I realized what was happening. Actually, been cla fruitsy because there would have been an S, but. I forgot there was an ass actually, so there would have been a mistake either way. Oh, sorry, I really have a feeling that I should have done that as hops, but whatevs. Hey, we didn't get saddle sausages this time. Uh, I'm about to head out. Uh, I'm on Indian time. Okay, fair enough. Sleep well, my man. And I will see you about. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your night. Or late afternoon, given where you live. Oh, the joys of having contracts in different countries. All right. That should be all of them. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, yeah, we'll just break onto the fault. Cool. Um... I'm just gonna collapse this down because I don't ever want to see this tree again. Right. Why are you being randomly highlighted? Yeah, so I was say, I know you were in the US, which was like the joys of having uh, contracts for different time zones in different countries. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking this actually builds. It does. Then we're off to the player controller. There is one of our debug functions. Okay, construction actions is what I'm looking for. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, double check if the building manager preview building is valid. Preview building is valid. Thing of the building manager. The building manager is valid because we spawned it in on this actor at construction. Um. Okay, so it's gonna be here. It's gonna be an if statement. And what we need is the resource manager, which I don't remember if I named it resource manager or ref, which would fit my naming convention. Uh, I did name it resource manager. It was resource manager ref for a bit. Uh, so if resource manager ref compare resources. Okay, so. No, 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 not gonna work. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is a loop. I will use one local Boolean variable, which I'll set just above the loop, so it doesn't get reset until we come back into the initial bit of this. And it will be set to, yeah, we could just set it, if it ever returns false, then we don't continue. So, oh, actually, I'm going to just leave this in for a note to myself because, yeah, I want it in a moment. Um, all right. So, for size t, i is zero, i is less than building manager ref. Dot get preview building uh, Okay, over to building master base Building data building data Get building data. <laughs> oh my god. That is a really long. Oh my god. I don't like this. No, no. Code smells. Okay, we'll deal with the code smell later on. Let's just get this into a green state from a red state. So, um. For those of you who don't know what I just said when I said get it from a green state to a green state from a red state, currently we want to have a function. We are lacking that functionality. Sorry, we want functionality, but we're lacking that functionality. We are therefore in a red state. Once I get working code, Adrian, I stream every Friday, except for there'll be a week coming up soon where I'm not gonna be streaming. Um, there is an event going on that I'm going to be attending, but I stream every Friday at 5 p.m. British summertime. So remember an hour different than GMT. Goes back to GMT in the winter here. And on Saturdays at 12.30. But Fridays are a community thing where I'll be just, just chatting with you guys, talking about stuff, working on different things related to the community. This does relate to the community. This is the prep file really for the remaster and the RTS. Um, no, the remaster isn't multiplayer. Um, and the Saturday one, I work on a neural network design, just a random one I've just been playing with. Um, and I do a, I follow a game engine tutorial series. So, so you're seeing me follow a tutorial. Um, and the idea is I'm going to do three, two, three, four of those maybe, and then try to build my own engine just for the, um, giggling shits for it. Um, I had to think of something to say. I was going to say shits and giggles. So giggling shits is what we got instead. I feel like I was waving the water bottle around like it was a vodka bottle. I meant to say beer bottle, I said vodka bottle because I 
months and months and months ago, actually like a year and six months ago, uh, I tried to uh, render a vodka bottle. That vodka bottle that I was using as a model is still sitting next to me on this desk. To this day, it hasn't moved. I haven't drunk from it. Um, I have another bottle of vodka downstairs. Or I'll, uh, never mind. Um, all right, let's finish this out with the code smell. So we want to do um, okay, and I'm just gonna pop over to our structures, and I'm sure building cost itself is a structure, and an array of said structures. It is a structure, and it is an array. Okay. So what I want to do is do size, length, click the bell, can't wait to see more, and Adrian, if you're not on the Discord server, there's a link in the description, join the Discord server, there are announcements for when things go out, um, there are announcements for when I do these live streams, um, and all that other fun, fine, and wonderful jazz. Um, sorry, I was gonna Google something and I got distracted by alerts. And there was just one saying, bruh, I'm a psychic, taking bookings now. Uh, I have no idea who this is, but okay. Um, <laughs> right. Right, I, I don't know what that was about. Uh, so what else was I gonna look up? I was gonna look up, oh yeah, uh, UE4, C++, T array, get length. Num, that's the thing I'm looking for, it's num. Okay. <laughs> I really don't like that. I really, really don't like that. That is just nasty to read. The code smell, man. The code smell. By the way, thank you for clicking the thing, by the way. I forgot to say that. Um, I don't need that anymore. Oh, God. Let's just make sure this works. Okay? Let's just make sure this works. Um, bum, 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 Okay, so we're gonna have a Boolean variable here called bool b. Um, has enough resources. I don't mind using verbose names. I really don't. We default this out to false. Okay. And then what we'll do here is loop through that and we'll do If I shouldn't have deleted that one thing. God dang it. That's actually the part I'm doing now. I thought it was a bit above I was doing, but no, it isn't. Resource manager. Dot. Oh, I already see another problem. Okay, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, we're really gonna have to deal with it to resolve this particular line of code actually, but we'll come back to addressing what the problem is in a moment. So resource manager ref get, get resource get current resource amount. Okay. That's the part we're gonna have to work out. Is greater than or equal to building. You know what? I'm just gonna copy the really long bits that I need. Yoink. I should copy the full stop too. Dot. Um, or at index. Now dot. <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember what the things are called, what I'm looking for. A 
life building costs. Dot amount. Okay. Life building costs dot amount. There we go. Okay. Uh, B has enough. Also, oh, we're renaming this really quickly. Global. Really? Does somebody take the word? Thank you. Equals true. True. Else. And yes, I know I don't need the brackets there. I just prefer them. False. Uh, Sergey, it isn't in there. This is something I'm doing completely separate. This is something I brought in for today. So, also, if you watch the RTS original series, what we're doing is we're checking, does the player have enough resources to build a building? Uh, bu 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 bum, bu bum. Sorry, I Googled something and literally what I uh, got as a return on Google was Google searches. Here are the, here's, that was literally my Google search. Um, uh, ba -ba Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to know how, how, how bad this is going to be? Oh, wait, no, sorry. I was laughing because I put two question marks. I should only had one. There's only one argument. Um... I can't believe it accepted that. Please build. Please build. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Okay, I thought for some reason it wouldn't allow me to do a static cast like that. Thank you. Do I even have a reference to you in here? Boy. No. I'm terrified. So very terrified. And yes, I'm intentionally doing that with my voice. Um, alright. <clears throat> Do I have a reference you in here at least? I do. I have you as a test reference. I guess I need you still. Okay. Well, things include guards. You'll be useful. Okay, so... Boink. Boink. If B has enough... All right, um, mm -hmm. yep, 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 uh, oh, that's an output, uh, we come out of it here, okay, boom. And now we can hit that button up there and actually test this. Test one, we'll be making sure we can't build something. That wasn't a joke. Like, it should default out to not letting us be able to build it. Also, so you know that it's replicated, there's the other one. Okay.
Cool. I forgot something. So actually, we're gonna take care of that really quickly, just so we know it. Yeah. Um. Do, 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 do. We want to do this. No, I put that else in the wrong spot. Else. Okay. I'm going to start collapsing these down just because I'm concerned about something. Let me get rid of that one. So, this is our if or else. Alright, that's the right spot. Our if, our else, our loop check. Yeah, no, everything's in the right spot. Okay, cool. Alright, let's test this one more time. The building now should be destroyed instead of actually just staying attached to the mouse and not letting us leave selection mode. Right. Hit play again. Okay, it is deleting it. Right now to just mess with our tests a bit. Um data tables. Uh, needs wood beam and clay. Okay. And, uh, six and two. Six and two. Okay. Wood beam and clay. Where? Oh, there you are. Six and two. Boink. Actually, we're just at 10. By the way, if you see me all tabbing, you see a giant face. That is me watching someone do reactions on YouTube. I just, for some reason, switched that tab. I don't know why. Um, all right, so that's that bit. If you don't see the face anymore, I got rid of it. This is just for debugging purposes. This is why this is so messy. Never do what I'm doing. Literally, I mean, do it if you're doing debugging. Don't do it for production reasons. Oh, I'm using the UE5 shortcuts now instead of UE4 shortcuts. Uh, but I say clay and wood beams. All right. Um, I forgot there wasn't alphabetical. It's by production type. And this is play out. Alright, we're going to duplicate this. And this is wood in. Duplicate that. And we need wood... Yes, I know what it is. Thank you. Oh, I really wish you hadn't opened that function up. That's going to drive me up the wall. There we go. That was a function you saw me, saw me working on earlier. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a different one. It's one related to that. What out? Okay. I don't know if that's actually going to work. It'll be hilarious if it does. Alright, so we're just going to move that to the side for the moment. Wait a second. I'm getting like no wood. Oh, that says 10 now. Okay. 
Uh, I want Clay to be at least 10. Clay is at 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, hang on. Give me a second. Also, I'm back here for a moment. Is there a replication bug? Is this only working on the client? This was working yesterday. I tested this yesterday. Like thoroughly tested that yesterday. I'm just seeing if the changes I made caused an issue. Because hot loading bad, yo. Don't hot load. Don't do what I did. Don't. Start with the client because okay, we'll start up here, I guess. Huh. Oh, shit, I forgot to test the client. Interesting. still works. I, I, it still works. All right. Oh, please tell me uh, I use the right use specifiers for what I want to do. What's happening is it can't store the resources because the max is zero. I'm just going to cheat. for actually I really don't know what I'm thinking about
You know what? We're only doing it for two of these. So I only care about two right now. Okay, now it will work. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. Why are we not building? Why are we failing? Mm. You know, my smart trick doesn't work. It does, but it doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay. So what's happening here is... I'm just going to show you in the easiest way I can think of is it's going, all right, do I have enough clay? Yes. Do I have enough coal? No. And it's using the amount that it wants for wood beams. Okay. That's what that loop is actually doing. So what I want to do instead, is we're just gonna get the building manager reference for a second. We're going to get preview building. So these are the functions that we're seeing up there, by the way. From get preview building, we're gonna get, uh, no, that's the overlap pack. Um, building data. Okay. Why did I have to use a function for that in here? You made me use a function. Yeah, you may want to use this function. We're gonna use the same function, okay? Okay. Okay, so we want to get that. I'll do that for now. Okay, I know what we're doing. Sorry, I'm just gonna move this to the other window so I have my reference. I can't do it because it's a private variable. That's why it's not letting me do it in Blueprint. But I now know what I need to do. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this for now. And what we're gonna do is... This is a for each loop. Why do you do this by? Um... Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, I also gotta Google for each loop. Four. C plus plus. Oh god, C plus plus. <laughs> yeah, that is the way I just did it. That's not what I want to do for this one. Right, um... Right. 
What am I looking for? I need to be in the building master. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my building structure data. Um, right. Okay. Sorry, just checking chat if I missed anything. I have not. Uh, target data. This is the same as array element, by the way. And our uh, loop, which I now wish I hadn't deleted, is this bit here. Actually, thank you. I was wrong about that. I want that's the wrong one. I want this one. I want building costs. Because that's actually what I did here. That's what we want. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start bringing this back here. There we go. That is, let me do a simple check before we do this. That is pulling from the same enum. There we go, we have communication between the two parts. Hopefully. <laughs> Famous last words, ladies and gentlemen. Famous last words. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> uh, then we can get rid of this hunk of code. And do target data dot amount. Okay. There we go. I need a new chair. Like, this chair is really annoying me. Because, like, I'm, like, I'm 6'1", and my knees are not in a fun position in this chair. All right, uh, da -da. Da -da. that chair is better, but it's unfortunately really, really old and busted. Uh, do this. Uh, hopefully that, yeah, no, I forgot to save. Okay, so we're gonna default that to 10 and that to 10. There we go. Hit play again. And let's just make sure that works. Uh... Oh. It would be helpful if I set the correct one to 10. Okay. There we go. Right. Okay, they're both at 10. I'm gonna just get my camera back. There we go. I should be able to build at least, I think, three of these. And now I think the fourth one should put me over, no? Uh, I definitely have gone over the amount. <laughs> I'm just going to keep building for a second. Uh, 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, the max was ten on one of the things. Oh. Hey, the check works! But I forgot one other thing to do after the check that really matters. Or not after the check. But, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that we can't build one with this person. Because they should have no resources. I see the mess of houses over here. Like you can see the skylight, like, where it ends. Yep, this one can't build, but this one still can. Okay, so the reason why you can still build is we've got to reduce the resources. Right, so hey, we know what works, at least for the check. Now let's reduce the resources. Welcome to doing things the fun way. When you watch a tutorial with me, I've already done all this work and I've already usually worked out all these kinks. So you're seeing what happens when I don't work out the kinks and I'm just going, why isn't the, oh yeah, no, I clearly forgot something obvious. Alrighty. So we wanna be in here. And uh, we'll do, I think we have another for loop. We're gonna take this for a moment. And we're gonna come down here. Okay. Um, set. No, get still. It's not an if. Okay, hang on. Okay. We're gonna do um, resource manager set current resource amount. It will be no, not get. Set. Hang on, what do we name this thing? ROS set. Okay, and so he takes in target data uh, resource, comma, minus target data dot amount okay this will reduce player resources on construction of building let's make sure it works now Oh, so did I set the event correctly? I did, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I was looking at Discord. I'm pretty sure I saved it, but we're gonna double check. Yep. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. I should be only do five, by the way. Five. Oh. Okay. Six. Okay, something's wrong with that one. There we go. Right. So I hit V again. I'm now. Oh. You know earlier when I said the thing about the clamp?
Yeah. I was wrong. Okay, something went really, really wrong there. And I want to know what. So we're gonna use breakpoints and actually go through this properly and find out what the crap is happening. Okay, um... This should be a true statement. Uh, we'll just see in a second. Or just okay. It is saying it's a true. Good. There is no more. Why did you do it a third time? This should be true. It is. Sorry, I do not want to do any of this stuff. Like, I don't care about it. I care about this line. Uh, and... Boink. Sorry, I was just checking something. I'm still checking something because I'm gonna make sure I'm not going crazy. Oh, that is not gonna be in that part. Okay, that's fine. one issue and to fix that issue we're just going to drop it into this if statement and no that is no longer I think to be removed let's try it out No, that did not fix that issue.
Uh, that's just different meshes loading in and out. Literally all I'm doing is loading in a different mesh based on how many meshes there are and how far into its construction. Uh, so first I'm going to fix just the fact that it is going negative. Let me just create, I'm just going to humor myself here for a moment. Uh, actually I'm going to humor myself in the next one because that's actually the code I'm looking for. Cool. Uh, right. Give me one second, chat, sorry. Yeah, no, just simply uh, play, just switching out the meshes. The complicated part is that every building doesn't have its own timer. They're all sharing a single timer. You know what? Hey, it worked this time. Oh, can I do it within? No, okay. I wish I could do it within like particular scopes. Um, first things first. We need to copy all of it actually. Oh no, we don't, because we do the new amount local in all of them. Instead of doing all of these, don't worry, we will do all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ones I know we're using. Which are these two. I mean, I know I've done three, but one was because it had the clamp that I wanted to use. I know it's still not gonna work correctly, but I'm gonna correct one of the two bugs we're seeing. So the two bugs we're seeing is that it'll just keep infinitely building until both are false, which, yeah. Or it, uh, and it will drop into the negatives for resources. So hopefully we stop the dropping into the negatives bit. Okay. Eight. Okay. 
cool. That seems to be slightly better. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is a highly scientific version of this. Uh, okay, hang on. Just going to grab an Excel sheet really quickly. All right, so um, clay wood beam two six. All right, now to do the scientific version of this thing. We're gonna max everything out to 10. Okay, so we're at 10. Uh, I'm gonna hit V one more time actually. We're gonna construct Wait for those numbers to vanish. And six and three. So wood is six, clay is three. Wood is six, clay is three. So six and three. And the out for that was seven and ten. Okay, so hang on. I just, maybe we don't care about this. All right, so um, new cost sorry we started with 10 clay 10 wood we took away from this two and we took away from this six and what we're gonna do actually is hit pause and we're gonna go to the output log Oh, there it is down there. Okay, that's what I wanted. All right, so there we are. We then added in three, which will set us to 10. So these numbers are wrong. That's what we're looking at now. Three, so 10 minus the cost would be eight. 8 plus 3 would be 10 because we clamp at 10. But we're getting clay out at 7. Wood out should be 10. That's right. So what's going on with clay? Clay is 6. I had these backwards. Clay is six. Wood is two. Okay. So clay is six, wood is two. We got three clay back, which would bring us to seven. And we got six wood back, which should bring us to eight. No, sorry, it should bring us to 10 because it clamps out. All right, so those numbers are right. Oh, okay. Be still my beating heart. Now, bring over the other player who's actually trapped in the same, oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. And boom. I didn't have the resources for it. Do that once. Still don't have the resource for it. Do it again. That was odd. I swear that I misread something there for a second. There we go. Oh, I'm at 10 again. Oops. Boom. 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 By the way, um, Adrian, that's the timer that tells it when to update the building. Feel like something is wrong here. Yep. All right. I know what's wrong there. Uh, we want to first go back to player controller, and we're actually. Uh, let's put this back where we had it earlier. 
just for now and double check everything. Okay, hit play. I know what causes that issue. So if someone is in the chat, and I guess I forget, someone remind me there is no else for overlap. That is the problem. There is no else for overlap. I need to put an else in for when there is overlap and the person clicks. Or I need to check something around the else. There is something wrong regarding an else there. Um, sorry, just thinking. Um... We are going to do the test. Why am I blanking on this? All right. Let it finish its building out. Okay. Five and eight with nine and 10 as our results. So, uh, we had five play in, nine, and eight wooden, 10, remember clamping. So that's right. Okay. I should not have done that then. All right, sorry, I need to just build four of these and then wait for them to finish. Makes reading the logs easier. Oh, that was, <laughs> oh, really? Really, game? You're gonna do me like that? Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. I get it. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, wait. I just... Okay. Even number six. Um. Where are you building at? Okay, whatever. Six, I think. Just really quickly. Okay, I hope it was six. Or five, I wonder what happened to that last one. All right, three and 10. So we were at zero and zero. Thanks, Unreal, thank you. Okay, um... All right, so what we're looking for is this. 
And what we're looking for is this. And what we're gonna do then is trigger that breakpoint. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, I see what the issue is. All right, how do I solve that issue in a sensible way is the next question. So the issue is because it's checking two resources, if the first one is false, but the second one's true, then it's gonna return true. If the first one is true and the second one's false, it returns false. Which is how we were getting those massive underages as well. Okay. Cigarette moment, because the music's not helping me not think about coding. I'm just gonna open the window and turn the chair that time instead of, you know, what I normally do. So what I need to work out, ow, I was more squeaky at the chair that time than I normally am, is how to return this bool. Now I could create another bool and do a check. Are the both bools true? And I don't mean just because there's two variables for this. I mean, literally, there'll be a big bool and a little bool. If little bool is true, it sets big bool to true. If big bool is true and little bool is not true, then it will set big bool to not be true. If they are both true, it will continue. Now that doesn't work. There's issues with that one. That becomes too complicated when we deal with the first and last indices. Could do an integer count where it needs to be above, um, equal to or greater than the um, length of target data or num of target data, a uh, bill and cost. Add one every time that it would be true. Take away one every time it wouldn't be true. If the number doesn't equal to or isn't equal to or greater than the number of target data, uh, oh, sorry, a building costs, then the value, then at one or more of the values did not meet the true condition, and thus we don't have enough resources. That is a very complicated, it's not very complicated, code-wise it's very easy, it's not an easy one to read. Eh, we'll try it. I kind of like working with integers that way, it's kind of funny. Might be just my style. So because I'm sat this time, we're actually gonna just do it. So this will become int uh, count local, which will default out to zero each time. And then I'm still actually gonna use the has enough, by the way. 
Um, what we'll do is count local plus 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 count local decrement it and then we're gonna come out of here and do if uh, count local is greater than or equal to all of this dot num then b has enough is true else false that is called a hacky solution i think No, I could have just created another U log and had it with the uh, in editor setting. All right, let's bring our Excel sheet back up since I didn't actually think to put those things in until like just now. We got zero clay in. We got six of those in, four and 10. Those match, remember that 14 is clamped at 10. Okay, so that fixes that system out. We now have our resource system tied to our construction system. Beautiful. By the way, all of this is only running if we're doing it in editor. Like if I do standalone, we don't get this stuff. This is just things for me when I was debugging like that. Okay. Now we need to do, oh, and I'm not looking forward to this, is we need to go back and we need to, um, Switch these all out. And this is flax instead. Also, let me turn my camera back on. Okay. I really wish that find and replace tool worked at that local level. I'm just gonna double check really quickly. Actually. No. So we'll do those ones up there too. Oh, I meant to get the break as well. Whoops. Okay. Just 
grown brick. I said grown brick again. Yo. No, I'll just be as tedious to do the other way I was going to do this. Just changes where the TDM is located. Again, if you see me miss one, call me out. Because God knows I will. Again. Do the beam. And yes, I do mock my own typos, if you haven't noticed. Though, the um, E one is just because there's a issue with my Woo Beam. With my E key. The other typos are just me. Okay, add on to cloth. Powder? Wow, I was gonna change I always want to change the clamp for some reason. Or power. I meant powder. Chlore. Okay, or powder. Uh or powder. Or order power. Or powder. Um and this is saddle. The saddle. Sounds like a part of a plant for some reason to me. The saddle does. Woo plank is easy to go use to get the correct one to see if you will not hurt typing uh bo for that one actually it doesn't save me any letters of typing doing bo technically so i still have to hit the tab key Unfortunately, see the first one is chainmail. Yeah, I caught that mistake before I did it. I mean, CR does save me a lot of letters, fortunately. I don't think there's any other and a grain but I do know there are no other days there we go get rid of the typo there though I was about to paste in the uh, thing I'm currently pasting in all right that is Year, so SP, this is my claim about, I don't know, now would be, yeah, I complained about earlier doing it with one hand, now I am doing it with two, because it is less stressful on my fingers to do it that way. Now I'm actually kicking myself for not making those code snippets like I mentioned earlier. Woo ass or woos is my shortcut for that one now. All right, at least we're in the food, so we're nearly near the end. 
Oop. I was hopeful that would work, but no. is a faster way without doing code snippets for this stuff, I'd be so happy to know and so angry because we're nearly at the end of this bit. Okay, I'm not sure what I just did there. Oh, we did get sausage saddles again. Or saddle sausages. Not sure which order that one really want that to be in. Beer, I believe it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do this with two hands. I hate you. No, I actually have to put this one in. Cool. That makes my life so much better. Wait, I thought beer was. Oh, bread is last. Okay. Well, that's now done, again. <coughs> I was about to drink a bottle of air freshener. Like, I don't think, like, this is really cold in a milk can. My monster is sitting right there, unopened, so it's not that. What am I about to grab to drink? Can of air freshener. All right. Um. All right. So we want that to be false. And then. We just need something to make this a little bit more functional so that I don't have to go in by hand and do this every time. Um, what we want to do is set the max amount. So we want to get uh, four. We're just going to grab both of these. We need both parts of that. Uh, four F resources. Uh, target resource. Player resources. Oh, what did I skip in this? That should be right. Okay. We only do it here. I was just making sure the begin thing it's missing is. Did I do something here that I forgot about? Four F resources. What we're storing it in. <coughs> okay, whatever. We're gonna keep writing this just to see what happens. Um. Actually, we don't need a for loop for this. We don't need a for range for if. Yeah. A range-based for loop. 
for each loop. <coughs> what we do need to do Oh, it's on an array, that's why. Uh, so, UE4, C++. typing this out there we go okay now that I started typing it out we're at the part where I actually <coughs> don't know what I want to do I is less than player resources dot Sorry, I'm just looking at the F struct API. <coughs> As I apparently <coughs> have a coughing fit. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, fine. There are 31 entries, I think. Thirty-one entries. Okay. So we're starting at zero. So thirty-one. I plus <coughs> plus. Player resources dot. I dot amount. No, there's a way to get an index for this. I just was looking at it a second ago. We need to include a uh, new header for that to work. Hopefully on the right line. 
It'd also be helpful if I spelled item index correctly. ITD, IDX, TRA, UE4, C++. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Get rid of that for now. Alright, I am probably just overthinking this. So. Google wasn't a help, by the way. Um, right. Oh, dude, you know what it is? It's what I did wrong earlier. It's that static cast thing I did. So, what we'll do is... Set max resource amount. <clears throat> We're going to default them all out to 100. And we'll do static cast e resource. At that particular index. Excuse me. Now we're going to quickly test if this works. Okay. Now, the fastest way we can test this go into our player, pop this open. Go to our resource manager, reset that, and notice now it's 100 by default. And if we open these up, they're all 100. All right, so that's worked correctly. Good. I'm just thinking about something I want to add in. I'm thinking about adding a difficulty setting system in and using a data table to set that system up. I have the base system in my head and it makes sense, but I don't have what I'm missing is where I'm actually going to store one of the variables I need. And that's going to take me a bit of time doing some background research 
on if that's going to be um, in the game state or in the game mode. And I'm going to make that decision. Well, I just need to look at the documentation for um, replication because there's clear guidance uh, from other members of the community, the broader Unreal community. Cedric, if you don't know who I'm referring to in this case. Um, and if you haven't read the document, definitely read the document. It's pinned on a few of my videos, or it's uh, linked to a few of my videos where I talk about replication. It's pinned in the Discord. Um, it, yeah, it is the sort of go-to reference book for replication. Um, so I'm going to look through that at some point. I'm not going to do that on stream. I'm also going to check the time. Um... All right, so we have about an hour left of the stream today, by the way. All right, so we have that working. Mm -hmm. What we need to do next is... Um... Well, we should be setting starting resources somewhere. We can do that later. We need to start getting working on the spawner. So just give me one second. I need to... Um get this thing open. You know, I have no idea what's in the reactivity or the explorer side. I never look at it. And today, I just, you know, there's a random guy in a plaid, or plaid, is that plaid even? Flannel? Like, I don't even, I don't, I didn't even notice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I just saw free, like, wait, I thought we were still have these things. By the way, oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm looking at? I was looking at this. By the way, reminder to get the free for the month. I saw free up here, and went, what? Didn't read it, and then realized what it was for. Alrighty, so I'm just getting something open so I can use it as a reference because I'm just gonna use what I did previously and update it for this particular project. So yeah, I'm opening the survival tutorial prep. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna be copying, just so you can see what I'm gonna be copying. It's this code. This really, really simple looking code. Isn't this all so nice and simple looking? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> make it stop. Okay, sorry, I had to make that joke. And this isn't even as complex as it could be or should be. And there are other checks that should be being done in here. Like, am I actually in a safe spot as compared to where the last one was? And then if you want to get really complicated, you can fully mirror uh, the built-in system to um, procedural generation in Unreal and add in, can I grow in shadow or in light? Do I only grow in shadow? Yeah, no, you can make this as complex as you need to be. But the part that we really care about for this system is honestly, well, this. And to do that, I have a lovely document from the person who's commissioned this project, who also gave me permission to do this on, on stream. And in said document, I have my soil types. So I'll be using that um, as a structure. So. Um, we're going to need an enum known as surface types. I'm just trying to think where I want to put this enum. Well, let's close this out since we're creating a new structure and we're going to have to recompile anyway. 
Um... Do, 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 do. I am going to place the enum for. It might be a common structure. I'm just trying to think where it might be used. We're going to need it to figure out if we impact it upon a point where we can spawn a resource. So it's going to be using resources. It might be used with unit footstep sounds. So it'll be used with animations in that case, by the way. Um, it might be used to change movement speeds. So again, used in animations. It might be used to change combat stats. So used in units. That is four uses or five uses across three different areas. So we have the resources, uh, system we have or in resources it'll be in the spawner we have it in the um, animation system at least twice we have it in the unit system just trying to think if there's anywhere else even at three I should be already going yeah it's going into the common structures folder that I've created but I am hesitant about that for some reason and I don't know why. Okay, so we'll put it there for now. If I need to move it, I need to move it. I swear I deleted all these CPP files. Um, for some reason, Unreal likes to generate them. Oh, I want it common. Okay. Um... That might be because of the generated body bit, actually. And this will be F, because an Unreal F is structure. Um, physical surface. Okay. Whoa, no. Uh, what the shit did I hit? Cancel, cancel, whatever I just hit, cancel. I am utterly wrong about everything I've just said. It is not going in there. It's in an enum. And, um, <clears throat> I think we're gonna need a new enum for this. And this will be, um, oh yeah, you don't want me to do this this way, do you? So we have the class wizard. <clears throat> this will be our um <coughs> I'm just gonna call it common enums. don't need the you know what we're gonna leave it in for some reason because you seem to want to leave them in okay This will be E <coughs> physical surface. And I'm going to use my cheat method. 
All right, so my cheat method, by the way, is to use Excel. <clears throat> Sorry, I am legitimately like choking here for some reason. Uh, nope, that's not the one I want. There we go, that's what I want. So I want the enums. Actually, first, what I'm gonna do is come down here. And we're gonna have clay. I wish this were alphabetical. There we go, okay. Uh, surfaces. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna have clay, sandy, silty, loamy, peaty, <clears throat> clay -y. And why would be clay -y now? Chalky. Rocky. Okay. Um... to save me from having to do that. Thank you. So there, oh, hang on, there are seven, but I want to paste values. This is me being really lazy. Okay, is equal to this and this and the first thing again, and that thing. Cool. And I think at that point, yeah, it was seven. What I call my work smart, not hard approach. Okay, feel free to give me that error all you want. Like I said, feel free to give me that error all you want. <clears throat> what was I gonna do next? I need the enum so that I can do the spawner. And we're gonna do the structure for the spawner. You know what? <laughs> we're just gonna start and I will figure out what I need as I go. Cause I have the blueprint, literally, in the other window. I think that is an optimal and viable solution at this point. I don't know if you agree with me. I don't know if you disagree with me, but hey, it is the solution that I am going with for this today. Um, so, oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I think my, I'm just going crazy. Ignore me. Yeah, just, just ignore me for a second there, okay? That'll make life a little bit easier. All right, so what we're gonna do with this is, go to classes. Private, record, actors, new class. It will be of type actor. It will be called resource spawner base. Okay. I am going to need a um, U shape thing. Here, reload all. Now. Okay. This one will need to tick. We'll be using timers though. Uh, we won't be doing the timers right away. We'll be adding that in down the road. 
Um, what else do we need? What else do we need? What else do we need? We're gonna need a structure, multiple structures. Um, oh, that's a good question, actually. How is that structure gonna look? How are we gonna fill that in? I mean, we're gonna need to have that in. Okay, sorry, uh, again, just thinking. This is the stuff that you don't see in the tutorial. This is like the prep stuff that I do prior to actually recording the thing. So yeah, welcome to behind the curtain, as it were. Um, okay, so I need, I'm gonna look up a header. Uh, so UE4 uh, box volume C++. Uh, trigger volume C++ on, no. You're not the thing I'm looking for. You're somebody's tutorial. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Let's just add letters API into this Google search. U box component, thank you. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. U box component, that's what I want to include in the header for this. Uh, so we are in actors. Oh yeah, oh shit, I do actually need to reload it. Okay, fine. Uh, give me one second. We're just going to actually literally reload this thing. There we go. <clears throat> I think I wore this shirt like two weeks ago on this stream. <laughs> Just realized that. I don't know why that just dawned on me. Uh, resource spawner. There we go. Okay. So we need to include a U-Box component there. And you know what? It's going to drive me crazy. We need to do something else. Just completely unrelated. That's the wrong one. Okay, hang on. Service manager, please go to the right spot. One over. Player controller, controller plays. B -b building master, please go there. Um, building manager. You're here, actually. Oh my god, this is gonna drive me crazy. What the hell is going on with this thing? Resource spawner. Common enums go over at the very end, please. You don't exist according to this. Cool. Right. Let me just cheat. Whatever, I'll do it in a moment. Um, okay. So, building ma resource manager, resource manager, building manager, building manager, player controller, player controller, building master, building master. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do was in the resource manager, I don't know why that was bothering me, but I just had to do it. Okay. Also, while we're here, yoink. That's actually going to be changed up in a moment, but for now, we'll leave it as is. I'm weird. Get over it, okay? I have my way of doing things. I'm setting them. <clears throat> okay. So, now that I've done that, 
Um, I don't care if I spelled that wrong. Game? Sorry. Okay. So the new system, by the way, actually will be in the Remaster RTS tutorial series. So what we need is... Um, sorry, I'm actually looking at my layout here. Uh, also, yoink, yoink. You know, I think I've been doing this over here for a reason. And I've just changed my style up to what I normally do in C++ instead of what I want to do in Unreal. Okay, so this is going to be components. And I'm actually just gonna double, just cheat here, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm gonna go to my player. I'm gonna find my camera pawn. And in my camera pawn, what I'm going to steal is this stuff. Alright, I'm actually just gonna take this, come back here, paste this in, get rid of that. Change this to components. And this is the. I used to do that a lot for some reason. The spawning volume for, for resources. And this will be of class. Let me just get the document back up. Ubox component. So we'll do Ubox component. In fact, actually, just in case I typoed. I oh, know it accepted. I oh, know, Dan. Uh, take that bit, paste that there. We will call this spawning volume. We will need a structure, and that will be what's down here. This actor replicates. I'm just gonna bring this over here because I know I'm gonna need some other stuff from there. I'm gonna grab the class file as well or the implementation file, whichever term you prefer. So, um, Actually, gonna go to my okay. There we go. Uh, where was I gonna go? I was gonna go here. And um, take this bit, paste that into there, change our scope, uh, and delete those two. Paste that scope in, and do we actually need to replicate the spot? I think I do, for how that works. Okay. Next, what I need to do is do uh, B replicates true. All right, so uh, set 
root component. So we are going to go and take our spawning volume here. And we are going to create default sub object of type U box component. And we will give this a name of spawning volume. Okay. Um, set root component spawning volume. Okay. Um, collision. Oh wait, no, I need to use a pointer. Spawning volume, collision, no, set collision profile by name. And, um, crap, I can't, screw off. Can't remember, that was to the thing, by the way, not anybody in the chat or anything like that. Um, the name of the collision profile I want. Maybe four collision profiles. All right. Uh, no collision. Okay. Why are you erroring out on me? Oh, okay. Um. Right, I'm gonna just do this as a prototype. Also, give me one second. I need to step away just really quickly. Here's the scary part. I saw that uh, error pop up right as I stood. So, yeah. Okay. Um, right. No, don't build. I want to see what the error is. Is it replicated? Use specifiers. Replicated. Uh, All right. Oh, I need to include the network. Please tell me you're in here. 
Boink. Uh, boink. I really need to make that part of the damn thing already so that I don't need to include that left, right, and center. Right. Let's build our prototype out. We're not going to build the full prototype, by the way, because I already have a prototype. What I need a prototype is the structure. Also, I need to make sure the spawning volume actually, you know, exists. So. Let's go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a blueprint class from this. Called... Wow, I'm getting some serious lag in the editor. Oh god, I think my video card drivers need to be updated. Wow. Alright, just so you get how bad it is. I could back. Oh, okay, never mind. Fine, fine. Start working. See how that makes me feel, okay? Uh. Uh, prototyping folder. Oh yeah, well, what else? Okay, hey, there's a volume. It exists. That makes me happy. Right, so what I need to figure out is what this heck this structure is going to look like. So, Okay. Whatever. Sorry, what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out whatever happened to that enum I created earlier. Yeah, it got deleted. Cool. So glad I did it in Excel. That isn't a joke, by the way. I have a copy of it now. Um, uh, okay, right, um, ba bum ba 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 bum ba bum Sorry, I'm actually looking at, sure what I'm doing, um, it's okay. What I'm doing is I'm looking at, so that's the spawning route, that's why I moved us there. Uh, hey, K-Beard, welcome in. Um, I mean, I'm sorry that you're having to do shaders. So that's what it currently looks like. So we're probably going to mirror this and actually have this as a structure. Yeah, what is this, a structure? Oh my god, that will make this so much smaller! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Okay, I like this idea. Alright, um... I'm just gonna prototype the structure, though. Or stru- yeah. Um... Oh wait, no, it's not gonna be units. Also, I'm gonna move things into a... Resources... Folder. Let's move our spawner over there. Uh, I saw something before I lost the chat. Uh, that is one bumpkin, uh, bumpin' cottage. Oh, the, uh, little house over there. I did not make it. I'm not sure who made it, actually. Uh, resources. Okay. So, what we want to do with this is create that structure. So. Um... Okay, so F, 
F. I'm getting that lag again. Resource spawner details proto. So proto just means it's my <coughs> prototype. Um, resource. Actually, we might be approaching this differently. Enum. Oh yeah, no, I just thought of a better way to approach this. Also, E resource is what I'm looking for. We still need the structure. We need two structures. Okay. This is the spawner, so we'll do the spawner. Density. No, we can't, we can't do the structure first. I can't think about this backwards. So the way we're gonna do this. So if we're gonna do uh, resources, details, proto, and then this will be created into a data table. So we'll have resource, will be e resources. Uh, sorry, uh, Nicholas Orley, hey Zach. Will you someday carry on your C++ RTS tutorial series? I learned so much from it and I'd love to learn more about it. Um, I do plan to, I am currently doing the remaster of the Blueprint version in, well, Blueprint, but in Unreal 5 is what I was gonna say because I forgot what I was gonna say. That sentence got away from me. So let me try that one more time with feeling. Um, so currently what I'm working on besides the survival, or a survival series um, is the remaster for the RTS series. The remaster is not only in Unreal 5, it is still unfortunately in Blueprint, but it is an optimized version. And in fact, actually the code that I'm working on right now is the prep file. You always hear me talk about prep files, my thing. This is that the code is the prep file for that. But at some point I do plan on returning to working on the RTS series. Um, I also need to consider that because the other project that you saw in the background is part of something that I'll be putting on the marketplace, how much of it I can actually do as a public tutorial and how much I can't. Um, hmm. Okay, so the person who's commissioned this, I'm gonna have a question for. But for now, we're just gonna call those base meshes. And this will be a static mesh. In a array, at, or in an array. All right, so once we have that, what else do we need for this? Um, we need another structure. I knew we were gonna need two. Apparently now we actually do need three. Uh, well, this one I'm about to make is the one that was always the one I knew we needed. And this is um, res uh, yeah, resource, spawn locations, proto. And this is just gonna have, you know what? We're gonna pause for a second so I can actually do the thing that I want. Uh, okay, create new, none, next, choose folder, enum, select, and this would be common enums, create class. Sorry, I needed an enumeration, and I am, oh, please tell me I saved everything before I did this. Yes. Yes. Oh, please tell me it's safe. By the way, Nicholas, how are you doing today, man?
Yoink. 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 And delete. And E physical surface surface types. Okay. Um I don't know why it insists that it has to have these things, because all you do is that. And like if you delete them, they will get recreated. I, I have deleted them. They get recreated. I don't like it. It makes me unhappy. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find the Excel window I used to do that little trick. There we go. Um, boink. Double boink. Build. Okay. All fine, thanks. Uh, just came back from work. How are you yourself? I am having issues with my brain not braining today. The brain juices seem to be low. Like the top two thirds of the cortex is dried out. Like a turkey left too long and not basted enough while baking, cooking, roasting. See, brain not braining. Oh my god, like seriously, the first eight minutes of the stream, I forgot what I was doing three times. I, I asked someone twice how they were. I couldn't remember if I asked. Like, I literally went, how are you? A little bit of rambling, like maybe 20 seconds. And Wait, did I ask how you are already? And then like a minute later, I was like, yeah, no, I definitely asked. Um... Then I shared stories about forgetting my name while doing recordings. Uh, bu -bu prototype folder. Sorry. See, I forgot what I was doing right then. Nope. <laughs> wow. Uh, spell locations. This is E is goal surface. Surface types. There we go. Uh, surface type. Be allowed. Okay. Uh, is that structure done? Uh, that is the wrong structure. Uh, we want this one. <clears throat> So, um, give me one second. I need to send a message to somebody. Uh, will seasons affect resources? Will specific, specific, sorry, I was having a, a, a moment where I couldn't spell the word. Uh, tools be required to harvest particular things. Three, will all resources spawn? Okay, well, until I know the answer to that question, <clears throat> we can't actually prototype the data table out fully. That's fine. I think. I want to go take a look at a data table for when I'm thinking about them.
Yes, it should be doable. Okay, um... Right. So, what we're gonna do... Is... We want F resources details proto. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter. A DT resources <coughs> proto. <coughs> Fine, I'll do a cube. All right. Um, Sorry, I am literally realizing I forgot something and now I have to make it. So that's why I'm like just kind of whispering and talking to myself. It's, I yeah, we need a collision box. Uh, we'll call this harvest toggle area. And I'm gonna make a note. Yes. Yep. Okay, uh, we don't need to worry about the height, so we don't need to adjust the offset. We do need a uh, resources DT, which will be of type data table. There we go. We'll default that out to our resource proto. We will need an amount, and this will be of type float, not name, type float. We will want this to be instance editable. Expose on spot. When I'm not saying that word out loud to people, I can say it. When I say it to the microphone or for a recording, I can't say it. No. Uh, row name. There we go. Okay. Uh, for now. Copy that. We'll go back here. We'll default that to wood beam. Okay. So, what we want to do is set the mesh. So we're going to grab the mesh. We're going to do set mesh. Plug that into there. And we're going to actually have something else, but oh yeah, this doesn't work that way. We're going to have to do it this way. Get data table row. I think we have to do it that way, otherwise, yeah. Out row. Break. Get. Press index. Paste. 
save your viewport. There we go. Okay. So if I drop the resource onto the map, okay. Can't change the resource yet, but I just need there to be something spawning in. Wait. Oh, I skipped something. Uh, locations. And this will be F resource spawn locations. Okay. Cool. You're going to have none. That will count for everything. Or you can add in everything and have that count for everything. Either way. Um, Okay, we need a mount, which is a type. Oh, I already have a mount. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do for that is also here. We need something else in here. It's going to go above that. That's going to be called base amount. This will be of type float. There we go. Base amount will be one for this one. Actually, two. One is not a good number to toss with for what I'm going to do with it. All right, um, so we're gonna set amount by going here, and we're going to multiply our base amount, I'll become that, by our harvestable mesh get world scale uh, from there we oh I hate doing it not doing it this way Yoink. man I'm having some really weird lag and it's causing all sorts of weirdness Oh, I was hoping you'll add the third pin in. I was wondering when they actually introduced that. It's great in Unreal 5 for that. I love that in Unreal 5 so much. Okay. So this doesn't need to be editable or exposed on spawn. Because it's base amount I was thinking about when I did that. Right, okay, um... All right, give me one second. I'm having just confused. Uh, let me show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the spawner, and I know I have allow random spawn somewhere in the thing. Let me just find where it's at. 
Uh, okay, so spawn rotation, spawn rotation. Item amount is exposed here. Is it exposed? Yeah, full item base. Sorry, I am using my old system for this. Just updating it. World settings. Disney World. Oh, it is there. Okay. Well, we're gonna get rid of that. That feature actually makes no sense for this project. Okay. So we don't need to worry about random amount. <clears throat> that's the wrong one. Uh, that's the wrong one. That's what I'm looking for. Density we still need. Um, we'll add that into this one instead. Nope, this one. Will be B is tree type. Save that. Compile that now. Go back here. Um, okay. So then we'll have B use random rotation. And let's go back to the C file because I need to add another common enum. Um, where is visual? Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I'm like, okay, or don't open. What are you doing? Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, oh, well, now I can't remember what I wanted to add. Actually, it might be another structure I need. Yeah, we'll do it here. It's an enum I need, sorry. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a short one at least. I only have three entries. So this will be E resource uh, uh, scale settings. We're just gonna call it that. And I said I need three, so let's get rid of these. And so we'll do uniform. We'll do lock x, y. We'll do free. And we'll go back here. We'll hit the wrong button. Shit. Well, while it's doing that, I'm gonna have a quick sig. Hey, Elite Tech Man, how are you doing? Sorry I didn't see you come in. I uh, was distracted by trying to get that to work. Um, yeah, how are you doing, man? Welcome in. So, so people who are new here, just so you're aware, I started streaming again. We're doing Friday community streams where I'll be usually prepping out projects that we'll be doing tutorials on. Now, technically, and this is my justification for this, this file you see me working on in C++ is the prep file that I am using for the remaster series. Um, we will resume working on the UE5 beginner stuff in the next one. Sorry, because I'm having a cigarette, I am turning my camera off. It is a nasty habit. I don't need to encourage it any more than I already do. Um, so yeah, we will um, be working on something where we'll be prepping something. Anytime during community time, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to call me out if I forget to rename something. Don't call out typos in comments, by the way, because I don't care uh, about those. Call it typos in code, not in comments. Um, in addition to that, um, on Saturdays, so, sorry, the Friday streams are always at five, start always at 5 p.m. British summertime, early 5 p.m. Uh, GMT come winter. Um, and on Saturdays, starting at 12.30 British Summertime, we do uh, C++ coding, looking at me building a neural network, just for fun and from scratch. Um, we're working on parts of our learning algorithm. It's taking a bit longer than I intended because my notes don't make sense. <laughs> like all my prep notes for that are just gibberish at certain areas. So I'm sitting there going, 
what did I mean by set x equal to x? And it's actually, I have a, a setter function and I'm saying call the setter function, but I forgot to put the word setter or set. Um, and we're also doing, currently we're doing the game engine series. I think that's the name of the channel. Uh, their game engine tutorial project. That project is the first time I'm doing a game engine. I am following somebody's work because I've never done one. I didn't know where to start. I'm gonna do three or four other people's tutorials. I'm not sure I'll do them all on, on stream. But I am gonna be doing them one at a time. So I say a drink of water. Um, and once I feel confident in my own abilities, we'll be doing a community build of an engine where I'll ask where people want me to start. I'm gonna, of course, limit the options on where we start. Uh, hell yeah, I was looking for some tutorials and here you are. On which part, Elite? Because you're looking at um, machine learning or uh, neural networks. I got a lot of stuff I'm prepping out for that, like a lot. Um, I have a Udemy course I'm writing for that topic. Um, and when I say a course, I'm writing it as if I was running a module. So for anyone British, module, anyone American, course, anyone from any other country, Canada, also course, and I don't know what the term is in other countries. The thing you take within a term. I'm setting you up like an actual one of those. Okay, so, um... Yeah, um... Let me just save all before I forget. And by the way, we are nearing the end. Yeah, I know no importance volume has been applied. We are nearing the end of today's stream just because I said it was gonna be four hours and I'm going to keep that today instead of going an extra three hours. I actually need to eat at some point today. Um, I hate to say it that way. That, and we don't have anything funny to do for three hours and just like laugh as a community. Uh, so anyone who doesn't get that reference, don't worry about it. If you want to see it, it's on last week's Friday, fr last Friday's VOD. Um, but yeah, no, it's done and dusted. And if you don't, again, if you don't really care about it and you don't want to know, that's fine. Like, honestly, as I said, done and dusted. It's over with. Um, I am still gonna make jokes about it. I really am a newbie coder, so I was looking for some uh, nice basic RTS and tower defense. So, um, tower defense is much easier than, oh no, technically, yeah, tower defense is going to be easier than regular RTS, depending on how you think about your units. Thank you for an idea for a beginner tutorial. Um, RTS coding actually gets really complicated, like really, really, really complicated, silly complicated in some spots. Um, the only reason why I'm able to kind of like, I flew through writing the building for this and like, it's really performant how I've done it. Um, in comparison to other ways I've seen <clears throat> read other ways I've done or hear other ways I've done like what I did in the older, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. What I did in the older RTS series, it's currently live for everyone on YouTube. Um, all the buildings have their own timers for their construction and what they do and all that stuff. Yeah, that isn't performant. That, that's a lot of timers going off potentially. So construction has been moved down to one timer. Every building gets constructed on the same timer. Now, how that building gets constructed, how fast it gets constructed will vary. It will vary by based on the number of units there, but I can do it all on one timer. Uh, using getters and setters and instead of having to do it across multiple timers that are using getters and setters and getting references that they shouldn't be getting I can do it in one and get the references stored in one location as well just reducing the overall size and the amount of space and RAM we need to run just making buildings because the one in the series currently yikes it is not performing um, but it is a good base from which I was able to iterate the code out to create my more performant system. So I am actually using the old RTS system. Um, I'm not currently for what we're doing because I do not like what I did with that system. That's why you saw me open the survival thing earlier. I prefer that system I did there 
and I'm now modifying that system to fit my new approach for this system. But, for those looking for RTS in general, and want to know about the remaster, again, what we're doing here is my prep work for the remaster. Um, in terms of recording the remaster, I finished section one, which is a camera as before, so you get the same camera as you get here, which, you know, has a different style of zoom. Now, you don't get the field of view or the rotation change, but I tell you in the tutorial how to do that. You get your normal movement, your fast movement, if I hit the right key, and this is a new feature we added into the remaster. You kind of see it glitching out there, actually, for a second. Um, so what just happened was it threw a breakpoint. Um, yeah. Um. Okay. That has never happened before. So, let me just, one, figure out what the literal crap just happened. See if I can get that to happen again. All right, so what we've added in, by the way, what I was gonna say earlier before that glitch, and what actually triggered the breakpoint is what you're seeing right now, is it's, uh, we now can move with the terrain instead of just being limited to a flat terrain. Now, what triggered the breakpoint was this function uses a line trace. Well, whenever I somehow clipped through the map, there is some random object um, right around, where is it? There. You, I don't, there's some random object there that I keep colliding with. Whatever it was, it actually pushed me through the map. And there's some there. I don't know what they are, but this is a test map, so it doesn't matter. And also, this works going up. But whatever that was that pushed me through the map, uh, because the line trace wasn't finding anything, it was actually throwing an error, because you should always be finding something with that line trace. If you're not, um, then something is horribly, horribly wrong like you're not in the map anymore uh, in terms of recording we have part of the building system implemented I just realized I actually can't build this now because of what I did yeah uh, okay uh, I can now build we have implemented everything but the construction timer in terms of the recording also because the construction timer actually is tied directly to this so if i do that it's not going to build anymore i've already put the new clock system in and again the clock system has been updated so that instead of passing game time which nobody really needs outside of the widget uh we're passing the game speed and game speed modifiers instead which are what we actually need to use and so we created a new function library in the new series to address that so you notice that builds much slower now. Unlike in the original series where it wasn't properly tied to the timers. I said I was always going to go back and do that, but never got around to it. Well, in the new series, we do it straight off the bat. You can see, yeah, it's taking much longer. There is that third stage. And then the roof is the final stage. I think this should take about 30 seconds total to finish at this point. I mean, not at this point. When it put that on, it took about 30 seconds. Oh, sorry. There is that the, the next stage. Uh, I've got those four stages. Base, thing, thing, thing. Um, so yeah, it's like 30 seconds every stage. Or I could just do that. And, you know, to demonstrate the difference. That is building significantly faster, no? I have less time to talk. Okay. Also, the you can see the clouds in the back. Or, uh, the shadow of the mountain. There are no clouds. Um... Yeah, our day-night cycle has also been properly linked to this. So if I eject... Yeah, we lose some of the lighting. Where did you go? There it went. There's our sun setting over there. And we go back to this mode. At nighttime, when it gets completely dark, we'll have a... Oh, it's not in uh, this version. So this version automatically does it because it... For some reason... Like, I could do what UE5 does automatically, but there's no way to turn it off in UE5 that I can find it. I can turn it on, its default is off, in UE4, and that is updating the, um, 
uh, the uh, sky yeah, skylight. Um, so we actually get a nicer blue shade in the RTS tutorial than we do here because of how I had to handle Unreal 5 automatically updating it. Uh, the automatic update means that the sky went pitch black when um, it went to night. So uh, that's really cool, giving a lot of depth to the train and stuff. I mean, again, this is a test map just to be note, so the train shouldn't really look this rough, but I needed something where I could very easily tell, hey, is this working? Also, I really like that field of view. Um, and again, remember, Zoom isn't actually changing the spring arm. That's fake zoom. Real zoom is what you're seeing out here. The field of view is changing. Notice that as I zoom in, we're losing the sides. Sorry, for anyone who already knows what zoom really is, I know I'm preaching to the choir about how so many people get it wrong. Like, if you don't know why I complain about that, I've, what I've done photography. I have a professional photographer in the family. Um... You know, I, I have been yelled at it a lot. So now I yell at people about it a lot. That isn't true. I just, I have pet peeve. <laughs> people not knowing that, you know, spring arm is not really zoom. One of them. Um, sorry, I'm trying to wait till the sun comes up. And I just forgot it's a 12 hour day. So we're going to use slow-mo. And uh, yeah, at around, I think 6 a.m. is sunrise. Uh, so the sun should come up from that there. There we go. And we can see the sun is with us. All right. Also, when we're paused, we can still do all these things. We can still play something down. It just won't start constructing in full time. I really like that zoom. I don't know why. The zoom makes me so happy today. Normally, I'm like, oh, the field of view doesn't matter. And today, I'm like, it really does. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I stopped smoking a while ago. I just got so into talking that I forgot to turn my camera back on. Sorry about that. <clears throat> it's like, I finished a bottle of water. I'm like, hey, wait. I don't have anything in my hands except for a mouse and a bottle of water. You know. Oh, yeah, and that's set up a different way. Also, it's a buttons disable when you set it to those amounts. So yeah, our system is updated from what we did pre- Oh, I thought it was already done. Updated from what we did previously. Yes, I know there's no interior. This is a placeholder. Like I needed something. So I literally took the completed mesh and dissected it. Can you finish building? Thank you. I don't know why that was bothering me. I needed to let it finish before doing that. And I have no idea why the screen just did that. Oh yeah, I really like the rotate. Honestly, it's such a simple system. It really is such a simple system. Um, thank you much. The um, the trick to it is you need to run it. It's a custom movement controller. So custom movement controllers are one of the few things that you should be running on tick because you do need that information for every single frame. I might not be always zooming, but I will need to adjust my zoom mount in a smooth way. Like there's a lot of things that actually pass through the custom movement controller tick. And I've tested it on timers. It's actually a little bit more performant on tick, oddly enough. And, and it is smoother on tick. The other thing that runs on tick for the custom movement controller is what's moving us, um, keeping us flat to the surface and allowing for us to follow the slopes of things. Um, again, that has to run on tick because the camera's constantly moving. Oh, I forgot to say, I forgot to show this as well. Um, our edge scroll no longer does weirdness in the corners. So if anyone in the original series, notice the speeds are the same. In the original series, the edge scroll in the corners went crazy and went really fast. We also had the shift in. I forgot to show one other thing though. The fact this is replicated. So I'm just going to bring that there and bring this camera back over here. Boink. All right. Really? Okay. And while they can't see the preview, okay. 
Well, that's new. Give me a second. Alright, we know that the this guy is working, so we're going to do him first really quickly. Why are you lagging so badly? I'm dropping frames left, right, and center. What the hell is going on? I'm dropping frames outside of the editor. Or, sorry, outside of play mode. There we go. Oh, the uh, the new uh, the newer style Jurassic Park one. Sorry, I thought I was wearing my Aliens one for a second that has the same design, but it's a Xenomorph and it's a uh, LV and I can't remember the planet numbers. I need to wear that shirt more often. Let's try this one more time. All right, we have the delay. There we go. We're not lagging. Okay. Uh, one more V. There we go. Okay. All right, so you're working. You're replicating properly, okay. All right. Okay, so where are you getting called? I see what's gone wrong here. What I don't get is why that worked for the server. Interesting. Okay, so what's happening here is I'm getting the preview version. And because I'm getting the preview version, it's crashing out. And why is it crashing out is, well, um, we destroyed the preview. Uh, do you know anything about formation, something like Total Warsaw unit movement, and they add a... So, uh, no, that's actually really... You're gonna hate me for saying this. It's really easy. <laughs> but if you're really, really new to coding, it is one of the first hurdles you have to tackle. Recursion. It is recursive math you have to do to do that. Um, so like one of the first coding challenges when you learn like pure C++ is to make a pyramid. If you can do that in C++, it, it's like literally dots. Or actually the better trick is to get it to do numbers. So like one, one, two, one, two, three. Or uh, so like one at the top, one, two in the second row. Third row is one, two, three. Fourth row would be one, two, three, four. Or zero, one, two, however the number he wants to go. Or to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then keep adding the numbers up. If you can do that, then unit formation, all you're doing instead of that is you're saying set a location where the zero would be, set a location where the one would be, set a location where the two would be, based on the number of units you're selecting or the number of formations you're selecting. Now, that is gonna, if you're thinking about total war, um, we need to think about formations in two regards. There is, because you can have your, let's say your archers in triangles or in loose formation. You can also have a group of archers and a group of cavalry stack up in certain positions. They're both using that same sort of recursive math where you're checking, all right, how many do I have selected? What shape am I going for? All right, get enough people to fit this start of the shape. Um, and how you want that start of the shape to be. So like if it's a pyramid, you want them to fill from back to front, you do it that one way. You want to do it from front to back, that's a different way, outsides, in. Um, that's just a nightmare, don't do that. Um, it's doable, but don't, it's awful, code-wise. It's just not fun to code. Um, that's one thing. 
But if you think about Unreal and the way the draw calls work in Unreal for skeletal meshes, getting that size of those number of units onto the screen doesn't work. So you're going to need to combine two systems. You're going to need to combine vertex um, animations and you're going to create a, a blink actor that is a group of something. So a group of archers a, or a unit of archers. So say a unit of archers is 30 archers. It's going to appear as if you have 30 archers on your screen running 30 animations, which is bad. Around 50 you start to hit frame rate issues. But it's going to be one thing running one animation via the Niagara system. That's where you do vertex animations. Um, no, I am writing a tutorial on how to do that last bit. Um, I did a live stream on how to do the actual recursion for the formations. Someone sold the code. By the way, it was a prototype. That's why I'm laughing. Like, I'm not bothered. Um, and I had a lot of bugs and I had to stop the stream early because I actually had a house fire during that stream. Um, and I continued for a bit after I put the fire out, but I, I had to stop. Um, and the code didn't work right because I never finished it. I never went back to that stream. Like, someone else copied it, put it up, and I like I recognized it the second I saw it. I'm like, that's my style. And then I read the reviews that were pouring in as people were buying it that day. Um, and then, like, getting re not that many people bought it. Like, three people bought it, and they all left a review. And every error, well, the errors are my stuff. I'm like, yeah, I thought so. I thought it was mine. I never finished it. Good job. Um, but I will be doing a tutorial on that at some point. Now, the vertex animation bit is actually gonna be more in your wheelhouse and I can send you a link on Discord to the epic tutorial on it. It is, if you have Maya or 3D Max, you're well better off, well I have Maya now, but you're better off uh, than trying to do it in Blender because what you're gonna do is you're going to um, combine the animations into one material. Uh, or, yeah, I'm not trying to explain that. Um, and the Niagara system will pick the correct pixels from that and that will be as if that's playing the animation instead. And what you can then do is if you want a single unit from it, this is optional, or when units die off, you can decrease the number that's there. And you have code, you'd have to have code running in there somewhere to handle formations within the unit set. All right, so um, I don't want preview. What I want to do is go to the building manager. And I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay. Um... That's the thing I was talking about earlier. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. It's um, it's gonna be a bit tricky. It's gonna take a bit of trial and error. You know, it's a Niagara system. It can be really weird at times, I found. Um, but as far as I understand, you don't have to write any custom um, I can't think of what they're called now, but like the, the scripts that uh, Niagara uses, you don't have to write any custom ones as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, no, I don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. You know what? Instead of trying to be cheeky about this, or sorry, instead of um, trying to find the the variable I want to use, I'm already seeing issues in that, by the way. Um, we're gonna be cheeky about it. <laughs> I had put it after the destroy preview. Because I was thinking, oh yeah, well, you know, we want to make sure we actually spawn something in. 
and don't get rid of our resources, but we need that to do it. So that should resolve that bug. And if it does, oh, that brings us to the end of our stream. We're already 17 minutes over, but hey, I got through. Uh, we also started like five minutes late because I had tech issues. And YouTube randomly decided to play an ad for some reason on my creator dashboard, too. Like, what? <laughs> like, I literally sat here. The camera is off. Like, what the is that noise? Like, where is it coming from? Alright, let's make sure this works for both players now. Boink. Boink. Alright. So again, host can't see the preview. There we go. It is working. Alright. That, that takes us through, well, that. We have part of our resource system set up. We have more to do with it. We have our spawning system to put in. So we have our management system set up for what we need it for right now. Um, we're using a polymorphic approach, which is not what I did in the original tutorial series, but I won't be doing the same polymorphic approach I did here in the remaster because people will make mistakes. They'll forget to add the negative sign in. They'll forget to do something and their numbers will go haywire. So instead of that, what I'm going to do... You know what? I still might do it that way, actually. I'll decide a bit later from now, I think. Um, so yeah, that, that takes us through the four hours that we were going to do today. Four hours and 15 minutes currently. So I guess I only started two minutes late, really. Um, you know, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for hanging out. If you have not already, please hit that like button down below. It really does help this channel out more than I can say. And if you want to take your support a bit further and you want to be here when we release tutorials, remember tutorials are released every Monday around 6 p.m. Uh, British summertime currently will be GMT, of course, in the winter. Somewhere between 6 and uh, 10, depends on when I get home, uh, if I have to do any last minute changes, things like that. Uh, rarely do I on that last bit, but more about when I get home. Um, we do live streams every Friday starting at 5 p.m. British summer's time. Or BST running for four hours these are community streams where we will be covering things like preps for the new UE5 series preps for the remaster RTS series which is in UE5 despite me doing it in UE4 it's because I started the, this in UE4 um, and on Saturdays we do neural network coding in C++ from scratch as well as game engine tutorials I'm building a game engine from scratch and if you want to be part of the community, the wider community, feel free to join us on Discord. It is a public server. Everybody is more than welcome. Link is in the description below. Sam, Kiwi, you're welcome and good to see you guys again. And thank you for being here. You guys are fairly regular here and I really do appreciate that. It makes you know this a lot easier to do. Um, you know, if you look, that's also great. You know, it helps the view count. If you talk, it is great. It helps the uh, interaction stuff it also gives me something to respond to because sometimes I'm sitting here going I'm just literally rambling at myself because I don't know what to say and that's fine I do tutorials and then I realize it's not a tutorial I'm like oh yeah I can't edit this out <laughs> um so yeah no I'm, by the way anyone who's like oh god I can't believe you said that I'm mocking myself more than viewers who don't talk or who do talk it's about me and my issues uh, dealing with just talking to a camera like I did this for two years professionally while I was teaching during lockdown so kind of used to it but I just like making the jokes now that I can um K Beard, good seeing you man and I'll see you on the server as well but yeah, if you haven't joined the server, link's in the description. Feel free to join us. It is a very welcoming community. We have professionals, hobbyists, newbies, every range and walk of life in terms of background in Unreal Engine. And my beard is really itching still, sorry. Um, <clears throat> background and walk of life in C++ and Unreal Engine. And if you want to take your support a bit further, consider becoming a Patreon sponsor. Patreon sponsors get access to videos early at upper tiers get access to all ongoing and completed projects on that i'm doing on youtube and at other tiers get access once the project is completed on youtube or i've abandoned it 
assuming the project still exists, the AI project, which I was actually upload, I, one of the things I was trying to upload, I got erased with my computer frying and shorting. Um, frying and shorting, it shorted and fried several hard drives, including several external ones. Um, so yeah, there, there's that. And again, I look forward to seeing you either in the next live stream or the next tutorial. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.